Hello. So I want to take a quick look see on the Bobo Veer M2 Pro. This is a head strap for the Quest 2 because the default head strap that comes with the Quest 2 is not exactly that great. Um, I'm going to be coming from the non-pro. So, you know, the only difference really with the non-pro and the pro is um, pretty much battery. There's some other things I'll show you guys. But yeah, the... This comes in a Steve box, just like the Quest 2. If you've ever seen a Quest 2 unboxing, you would know. First thing that comes out of the box is the headstrap itself, the battery, and I don't know when they started doing this, but this is the honeycomb padding that usually comes with the M1, yeah, the M1 Pro, and the recently introduced M1 Plus and M2 Plus. So, you know, that's nice. In the bottom of the box is some documentation we probably won't need. There we go. That's an SD card. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, documentation to the side. Let's get the head strap out first. So, there's the head strap. I'll show you guys how to uh, put it on in a bit. Here's the honeycomb padding that I was talking about. You can hear my birds in the background. And finally, the battery, the Bobo VR B2 battery, which you can buy separately, so you have spares, more documentation. I am trying to get a hold of a second battery, maybe even a third battery to use for the Quest. So, should pretty much come like this. Is it fully charged? It is fully charged. Wonderful. Ooh, that fell. It's fine. All right, so that's everything that comes in a box. Oh yeah, uh, USB type C to C cable for charging. You can also use the cable that came with the Quest and use the charger that came with the Quest actually to charge your battery. There is also an optional accessory, a charging dock where you can charge two of these batteries on a cradle so you don't actually have to plug it in. Yeah, let's see, how do I open this? like so okay here's the USB C cable that plugs into the quest and since it's lighter right now these honeycomb pads are supposed to replace these ones in the back if you wanted more grip for whatever reason does it fit yeah it should fit uh, these are grippier I'm not sure if they're gonna be less comfortable but I might test it out and, I don't know, amend the video, that thing. Uh, here's the battery. Let's first get it on my Quest. So here's my Quest 2. I am using a VR cover, facial, uh, VR cover fitness facial interface. The default glasses spacer and prescription lens inserts from VR Lens Lab, which is a sister company. Of VR cover, so you know that's good. Let's bring the ears down. Am I still in frame? Yes, I am still in frame. So just make sure there's like rubber pad, the rubber pads on top or there. That's what's uh, gonna be holding on to the Quest arms. So you just slide it on. They don't recommend you sliding it on fully, but I like sliding it on basically. Mm, about a centimeter or two before the end of the the arms. Sometimes I push it in more. And then you grab this top support just so the top padding doesn't like you know fly away. And then a little something like that. Yeah. And that's the head strap installed actually put back the interface okay, top is not clicked in the bottom's clicked in I heard three clicks no is there like a centimeter or two on the top and actually let me just push it out a little bit more I know you guys can't really see much, but 
There we go. Let's push the Velcro down a bit more. Yeah, that should be fine. And snap it back in. Squish. <laughs> and that's it. That is the head strap installed. Plug this in and bring this down. And since I'm not using the Quest, not like it matters, put the, the thing back on. And that is the Bobo VR M2 Pro head strap. Might still push that, a, push that out a bit more. And then, the only main difference between the M2 non-Pro and the Pro, the padding is definitely different. Um, the one on my non-Pro is more like this uh, leather material on the VR cover facial, uh, fitness facial interface. Like same, same color, texture, and like feel, like softness. The one on the M2 Pro, they are way grippier than this. And the foam is... Oh, this is a bit more plush. Yeah. Definitely the back padding is more plush on my uh, M2 non-pro. I'm gonna see if I can uh, borrow a friend's M2 non-pro and their quest, of course. Um, yeah. That's the main difference. Of course, different uh, writing on the side. The back part is way different. So here's the, here's the battery. And it just goes on something like this. It does a beep. A very satisfying beep too. And it charges the Quest. So if I push this in, it's, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's green light. It's absolutely tiny green light. It should go out in a couple. Eventually. Eventually. There we go. And just to, you know, hot swap the battery, it magnetically puts on charges a quest it's fully charged right now so it's not really going to charge but it's going to show green and when you buy a second battery you can charge that battery use the first battery and once it's out replace it on the fly charge it again and you're basically running continuously for like i don't know eight hours if you can last that long i know i can last that long in vr <laughs> i don't really get motion sick that much but yeah, um, if you don't if you don't get a second battery, or if you don't get the B two, no, not the B two, the dual charging dock. I can't remember what it's called. You charge the battery by uh, the USB C to C cable. You can also power stuff with the the C to C cable. So you know you can plug in your phone or the optional F two, if I'm not mistaken, like cooling accessory that goes on the top of the quest but that uses a different facial interface and i'm not sure if i want to use a different facial interface i'd rather keep using the vr cover one but yeah that is the bubble vr m2 pro okay yeah see that's actually about an inch that looks about an inch and that's about a little over the inch uh, a little over an inch so maybe that is actually right i'm gonna remove these labels this they look ugly but yeah thank you for watching i might make some more vr content in the future if my birds don't get angry and yeah bye bye